Playing soccer is hard, you're playing soccer there by the sand. Because the sand is hard. Then you have to run there, but it's nice to play with Blackest of United. Twice a week, Mendoza wakes up early to go to soccer practice. He's 12 years old and he lives in Blickiesdorf. It's not a great place to be a kid. Started as a relocation camp for refugees of xenophobic violence, this area has become synonymous with crime, drug abuse and poverty. But Mendoza is part of one of the more hopeful aspects of this dusty community. He is the star striker of a youth soccer team formed inside the camp. So guys, taking me away from gangsters and all the things that is wrong. Today, Mendoza and his team are up against their biggest challenge yet. They're taking on the under-12 team of IXFC. It's time to get up, my boy. It's been a different start to the morning for the young player who will be man-marking Mendoza on the field. 12-year-old Liam Byrne lives 40 kilometers away in middle-class Sunningdale in Cape Town. I get butterflies sometimes. Um, and it feels good when I play soccer, when the, when the um, ref blows the whistle. Five, six, Liam also hopes to become seven, a professional footballer. I don't really know. I think we're going to it. I feel confident. These two kids might never have met if it wasn't for their shared passion of soccer. They're separated by a class chasm from vastly different backgrounds. But on the soccer field, they meet as equals. It's difficult. But you are getting to know them. And next time, I'm going to try our best. IXFC beat Blicky's Drop United by seven goals to one. But we did lose. But we did play nice, man. But Mendoza has not given up hope on his dream. I would like to play for them. We did have a nice game. 